Welcome back. Get ready to dive into the world of tech with MA Tech. Bringing you the latest updates, reviews, and insights in just a few seconds. Excitement is building around the potential design upgrades of the iPhone 16 Pro, particularly regarding its display. Rumors suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro might feature the world's most flattering screen with the slimmest bezels ever seen on an iPhone. While these claims are not yet official and will only be confirmed upon the device's launch in September, the buzz generated by these speculations has already caught the attention of tech enthusiasts. Chinese tipsters have been particularly vocal about the iPhone 16 Pro's display, with many praising the rumored ultra-slim bezels. These sources have shared impressive figures that suggest Apple is making significant strides in minimizing screen bezels, which could result in a more immersive display experience. The excitement surrounding these claims is palpable, as the potential for a nearly bezel-less design could represent a major leap forward in smartphone aesthetics and functionality. If the rumors are true, the iPhone 16 Pro could set new standards for smartphone design with its minimal bezels. Slimmer bezels would not only enhance the visual appeal of the device but also provide a more immersive viewing experience. With less distraction from bulky bezels, users would enjoy a cleaner, more expansive screen that enhances multimedia consumption, gaming, and overall interaction with the device. The excitement around these potential design changes reflects the high expectations for the iPhone 16 Pro. Although we will need to wait until September for official confirmation, the enthusiasm generated by these leaks and speculations keeps the conversation lively. As we approach the launch date, more details will likely emerge, either confirming or refuting these claims about the iPhone 16 Pro's display. Until the official announcement in September, the speculation around the iPhone 16 Pro's screen and bezel design remains just that, speculation. However, the possibility of a stunning display with ultra-slim bezels adds an extra layer of anticipation for Apple's upcoming release. Stay tuned for more updates as we get closer to the official launch, where we will finally learn if these exciting rumors hold true. The latest leaks suggest that the iPhone 16 Pro might achieve an astonishing bezel width of just 1.2 millimeters. If these claims are accurate, this would mark a significant milestone in smartphone design, with Apple pushing the boundaries to achieve an almost bezel-less screen. The idea of such slim bezels is particularly exciting for users who value an immersive display experience and a sleek, modern look. Apple has been on a quest to achieve nearly zero bezel screens for many years. This ongoing effort reflects the company's commitment to advancing display technology and providing users with the most engaging visual experience possible. Although complete elimination of bezels hasn't been realized yet, Apple's progress towards reducing their width is evident in its design philosophy. The move towards a 1.2 mm bezel could be the next step in this ambitious goal. Despite these advancements, it's important to note that we may still see some black bars around the display panels. These bars are necessary to house components such as sensors, cameras, and other technology that cannot be entirely embedded within the screen. While the reduction in bezel width will enhance the aesthetic appeal and usability of the device, it won't completely eliminate these black bars. The rumors suggest that Apple is getting closer to achieving the ideal of an almost bezel-less screen. With the iPhone 16 Pro potentially featuring a 1.2 mm bezel, it's clear that Apple is pushing the limits of what is currently possible in smartphone design. This incremental progress shows Apple's dedication to refining its technology and meeting user expectations for sleek, modern devices. As we await the official release of the iPhone 16 Pro, these exciting leaks and claims provide a glimpse into what might be one of the most visually striking smartphones to date. While complete bezel elimination may still be a goal for the future, the expected 1.2 mm bezels represent a significant step towards achieving a more immersive and attractive display. Keep an eye out for further updates as we approach the official launch in September to see if these predictions come to fruition. Apple has always taken a calculated approach when it comes to new technology, and charging speeds are no exception. While other smartphone manufacturers race to offer the fastest charging stats, Apple has been more conservative in its advancements. The reasoning behind this is clear. Higher charging speeds aren't always in the best interest of the consumer. Apple has always prioritized the long-term health and lifespan of its devices, and this has played a major role in its approach to charging technology. It's true that Apple's move to improve charging rates with the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max feels like a cautious step forward. 
While other companies have been quick to boast about 100W plus charging speeds, Apple seems to be taking its time. This hesitation isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it's a reflection of Apple's meticulous design philosophy. They focus on balancing faster charging with factors like battery health, device safety, and energy efficiency. By introducing limited faster charging, Apple aims to give users the convenience of quicker charges without compromising the longevity of their devices. The one thing we've learned about Apple is that every decision they make is thoroughly thought through. The introduction of 40W wired and 20W wireless charging in the iPhone 16 Pro lineup is no different. Rather than rushing to adopt extreme charging rates, Apple's move feels more measured, ensuring that the technology is reliable and beneficial for users over the long term. By limiting faster charging rates, they've struck a balance between meeting user demands for quicker charging and maintaining the device's long-term performance. Apple's strategy of limiting faster charging rates could actually be the most practical move for the majority of users. While 100W plus charging speeds might sound appealing, the real-world benefits are often marginal, and faster charging can generate more heat, leading to potential battery degradation. Apple's decision to introduce modestly faster charging rates ensures that users get the convenience of a quick charge without risking the long-term durability of their battery. This way, users can rely on their iPhones for years without facing significant battery health issues, making Apple's approach the smarter long-term investment. Although Apple is taking a cautious step forward with faster charging, this could be a sign of bigger innovations down the road. Apple's reputation for thinking things through means that they're likely working on ways to improve charging speeds even further, while ensuring that devices stay reliable and batteries remain healthy. The iPhone 16 Pro's charging enhancements may be a preview of what's to come as Apple continues to refine and innovate in ways that align with its commitment to user experience and device longevity. The rumors suggest that Apple might be increasing the battery sizes in the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max, which could be a key reason behind the push for higher charging rates. If Apple is indeed boosting battery capacity, it makes sense that they would also want to improve charging speeds to compensate for the longer times required to charge these larger batteries. This dual approach of enhancing both battery size and charging speed would address two critical aspects of user experience, longer battery life and quicker recharges. With the expected increase in battery sizes, faster charging rates become even more relevant. Larger batteries mean more energy storage, which directly translates into longer usage times but also longer charging periods. By bumping up the charging rates to 40W wired and 20W wireless, Apple aims to ensure that the increased battery capacity doesn't result in inconveniently long charging times. This balance helps maintain user convenience while also extending the overall battery life of the device. The upgrade in battery size will likely lead to noticeable improvements in battery life for the iPhone 16 Pro and 16 Pro Max. Users can expect to use their devices for longer periods between charges, thanks to the larger battery capacity. However, to ensure that this increased capacity doesn't negatively impact user convenience, Apple's enhancements in charging speeds will allow for faster top-ups, keeping the user experience smooth and efficient. This combination of larger batteries and faster charging is designed to offer a significant upgrade over previous models. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech content. See you next time on MA Tech.